Did you know that a single word could have triggered the downfall of one of the largest empires in the world? Today we are going to talk about perestroika, a term that not only marked the history and downfall of the former Soviet Union, but also left its mark on the entire world. Stay tuned to the end to find out how this reform directly impacted the fall of the Berlin Wall, the dissolution of the USSR into 15 countries, and the end of the Cold War. Don't miss it! Perestroika is a Russian word meaning reconstruction or reform. It was introduced by Mikhail Gorbachev in 1985 when he assumed power as General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Gorbachev, aware of the economic and political crisis facing the country, sought to reform the Soviet system to make it more efficient and competitive. However, what began as a series of economic reforms ended up transforming the entire political system of the USSR. Perestroika not only attempted to revitalize the economy, but also to open the country to greater transparency and citizen participation, something unthinkable under the Soviet regime of that time. Did you know that perestroika was partly influenced by the rapid economic growth that China was experiencing with its own reforms? Gorbachev saw in these reforms an opportunity to save the USSR from a possible economic implosion. But perestroika did not come alone. It was accompanied by another key concept, glasnost, which translates as transparency or openness. This term was also promoted by Gorbachev and referred to political liberalization that allowed for greater freedom of expression, something that until then had been severely restricted in the USSR, as people wanted more freedoms, more opportunities and a better life. Censorship was strong and criticism of the government was forbidden, but Glasnost allowed citizens and the media to openly criticize the government, revealing the country's internal problems that had been hidden for decades. This, ironically, further weakened the Communist Party's control over society. An example of Glasnost in action was the publication of articles exposing atrocities committed during the Stalin era, something that would have been unthinkable just a few years earlier. These articles shocked Soviet society, which began to question the legitimacy of the regime. The perestroika reforms, instead of strengthening the USSR, accelerated its disintegration. The Soviet republics began to demand greater autonomy, and the central control of the Moscow government was progressively weakened. Not everyone was happy with the changes. Many Soviet leaders feared losing power and some conservative groups opposed the reforms. In 1991, the Soviet Union finally dissolved, marking the end of an era, and giving rise to 15 new independent countries. If you want to learn more about the countries that made up the former Soviet Union, you can watch our video about them. You will find the link in the description. But the influence of perestroika was not limited to the USSR. In 1989, the Berlin Wall, a symbol of the Cold War and the division between East and West, fell. Although perestroika was not the only cause, its focus on liberalization and openness played a crucial role in creating an environment that enabled this global transformation. Did you know that during perestroika, more than 300,000 demonstrations took place across Eastern Europe? These demonstrations were a key catalyst for the fall of communist regimes in the region. Perestroika, along with glasnost, was a bold experiment that forever changed the course of history. Although originally intended to save the Soviet Union, it ended up triggering its collapse and the end of the Cold War. But now you might ask yourself, why did perestroika fail in its initial objective? The answer is complex. Although it succeeded in opening up the country and granting greater freedoms to its citizens, the speed and magnitude of the changes were too much for the Soviet system, which was unable to adapt in time. Thus, instead of strengthening the USSR, perestroika ended up accelerating its disintegration. The legacy of perestroika is mixed. On the one hand, it allowed for the opening and liberalization of a closed society. On the other, its hasty implementation led to the collapse of the USSR and a decade of instability in many of the new republics. But one thing is certain, perestroika left an indelible mark on the history of the 20th century. If you like this video and think we deserve it, help us grow our channel by leaving a comment, a like, subscribing and sharing it. It's free for you and it helps us a lot. Thank you and see you in the next video.